What's up, YouTube? This is Sea Dog back with another review, and this time it's on the Super Action Statue line. This is JoJo's Bizarre Adventure line. Um, this is JoJo right here, Joseph Joestar. And taking a look at packaging, see it says Joseph Joestar on the bottom there. You got JoJo's Bizarre Adventures written in Japanese. Joseph Joestar, you got a picture of the figure there. JoJo. Picture of the figure, same picture there, and then on the back we have a few pictures. It shows that he can reach behind his back, it shows he can grip his weapon with two hands, it shows he can touch his face in front of his chest, and he can do a pose. His two heads, his accessories, and his stand. And that's him, and I wanted to show right here that you can basically see that he can cross his arms no problem whatsoever. That figure has no problem. It, just, it takes two seconds doing it. So, let's get into it. Without further ado, let's get to the review. Alright, so these are his eight individual hands that come separate. He also comes with two fisted hands that come in the package. We'll show you off those real quick. So, this is basically like his fisted hands. Every one of his hands has these brass knuckles uh, kind of painted on there. You can see that looks really cool. Uh, I guess it's not going to focus because it's already focused on those, but, you know, fisted hands, no big deal. So we got uh, all the other hands, so he's got two of those, then he's got two karate hands, two splayed out hands, he's got a hand for holding underneath on his left hand holding the weapon, and then he's got a right hand for a trigger finger, as you can see. He's got a pointing hand, these are both right hands up here, but pointing hand, and then he's got a gripping hand for his uh, sledgehammer, so... Nicely done. Uh, there's one little thing I don't really like, and that is, I don't know if you can see it yet. Uh, I guess it's not going to... Oh, yeah, I know why, because it doesn't have the light. There we go. You can see the mold lines? Yeah, that's not cool. But that's the only place on the figure like that. So, you know, moving on. Okay, next up we have his crossbow. Really cool piece. Got nice gold here and underneath. And on the side. It's definitely nice. It's got like a leaf kind of, a leaflet design. Painted in gold and then a wash on top. Got black chrome for a handle and trigger. Based on wood. You can even see all the fastening thing, the thing they fastened it to it all uh, painted got a nice wash effect on the end of the crossbow here and it's got his bolo ball this is pliable right here a little bit not, not too bad and then it's got wood and these attach like this both sides and there's a reason for that and I'll show you that in a minute but you can see there's a different type of they got gunmetal black here and then on top it's got uh, like a looks like a metal brace that takes the wooden bow and attaches it to it, and it looks like it's painted in like a maroon, and then it's got this gun metal like a actual metal I guess like a you know like guns colors would be uh, for where the ball is. You can even see some rust painted in there and some scratch work. So done nice, really nice. Look on this side, more of that gold. You can see these kind of like. Uh, adjustment things right up here painted and there's even sculpted in really nicely really cool so that's his crossbow and then he's also got this and this is the secondary piece that you had to, I showed you how to take these off and you pop those parts on and then you have basically this without the ball loaded ready to go so that's cool. You see how it's flat, like it wouldn't be loaded. So it'll be straight across here with no ball. He also comes with a bolo ball, I believe these are called. Bolo balls. And I'll show you those as well. Next up, we got a sledgehammer. It's got like a steel kind of metal up here on top. With like a brass brace, basically. And then on a wooden post that's braced around by this brass or whatever metal here. More steel and colored on the bottom. Nice texture in the wood. 
focus there. You can see all the wood kind of like graining. It's painted in, shaded, and got a wash over it. Sculpted nicely. You can see the individual rivets sculpted in. Very nice. It's even got the bolts and stuff sculpted on. There's a little bit of more of that mold stuff right there. Yeah, the mold lines. I'm not really too fond of those, but it's, it's not that bad in person. I'm also in 1080p here, so it's kind of uh, coming in a little better. And back to the figure itself. As you can see, it gets nice posing done. And we're going to take a look at the figure himself. So, bringing his arms down and whatnot. Take a quick look at the figure. So this figure is pretty rad. You can see the nice anime kind of eyes there. It's got nice anime circles in the middle of the pupils. Done nice. Got that kind of anime blue to show its black hair or whatever. Nice paint wash all through the hair. It's got wash and shading. All through the muscle definition, through the shirt muscle definition, through the creases and the wrinkles and, and the lighting effects and everything. There's like a light blue kind of shading going on on the pants. Whoops, sorry about that. And um, a darker pink for the skin tone. And the skin tone is good color. I like the color. Got a little bit of red here on the ears and whatnot. Not sure how well it's coming up in the camera, but I like all the sculpting wrinkles and stuff done in the pants. Where it bunches up here and then right above the knees here. The boots, it's got the fold on the top of the boot. The seam work all the way down to the bottom of the sole. It's got the sole. Kind of lighter effect where it would be worn. That's cool. Got more wrinkles here above his knees. It's got painted ball hinges. It's just uh, not shaded, but they are painted. It's got more of that light effect where we're wearing on his butt. Got the little snaps painted in and the belt painted really well. More of that shading in the back of his arm. More wrinkles here and got the seam of the jeans. Going around, you can see the belt was painted really well. More of the snaps. Even the scarf here is painted. We can take that off. I'll show you that in a few. So really cool. It's got those gold brass knuckles paint. Or yeah, brass knuckles painted. These are like PVC-ish a little bit. Bracelets. More of that shading on the gloves. You get you got even paint shading on the back of the elbows. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I need to work that right. So. There. Yeah, it's on right there. It's a little twisted there. But. And then you just take off his head. You can take this off. And there's a couple pegs. You can see the pegs that hold it on. And the holes. So it's a little unsightly. But we're going to take it off just for the review purposes. I'm going to move it over there. We'll show this off a little bit. Yeah, so you can see all the, the paint line work done nice and clean. Looks good all the way around. Even underneath it, they got it. So it looks good from both sides. Very nice. You can see more of that paint. In the, you can see a little bit of paint chipping. So you want to be careful if you're not aware of things like that. Uh, if you're hateful to those things. Get a peg hole in the back of his back. And the, he does have gaps. You can see gapage. So if you're kind of someone that hates that kind of stuff, you might not like this figure. But you can you can maneuver it and manipulate it so they go away. For articulation, his head is insane. Oh, his whole articulation is insane. He can look side to side, obviously. He can look down. Like all the way down without even the ab crunch. And you can look up quite a bit. I mean, you can get it to work more up. Well, not bad. He's got tilt 
just on the top alone he's got tilt and he's got a hinge you can see the hinge right there where that pin is so he's got a hinge right on the top plus he's got a ball peg like a double ball peg at the bottom so he can go side to side front to back and then you know tip tilt and do all that crazy stuff you can look behind him so that's good his shoulders have this butterfly hinge it'll go forward so he can bring his arm in front of him and it will go back so he can reach right behind him so that's really cool and it goes a little up and down too plus he's got the hinge that goes out 90 and we'll swivel all, all the way, all, swivel all, all the way around, obviously. And, uh, yeah. uh, he's got a bicep swivel, the correct one. And he's also got double jointed elbows that bend in that far. Plus, it swivels at the top. What am I trying to do here? It's the top of the joint, below the bicep. See? You hold the bicep. And it also spins at the bottom. So it has double spins there. So you can spin it out like this. Plus you could, if you wanted to, you could tilt it to the back, you know. I mean, the hands will do whatever, but. So it's got a lot of manipulation there. And it's sometimes a little tricky to get it back in place, but not really. He'll go up and down and left to right. And you can, you can maneuver it, you know, by pulling it off. If you want to pull the joint off, you just do, you know, pull it off. And then it will go side like that. Like he's doing something crazy if you get my drift <laughs> but uh he'll go uh his chest will go down just on the top diaphragm alone will go down like that and back plus it'll swivel on that diaphragm and it will rock back and forth his lower waist will swivel all the way around rock back and forth and do front to back <laughs> that looks funny he's like oop, oop, oop. um together they go all the way back in the fourth crazy amount and then you know looking down the arm out of the way he can look way down and well, his head was already kind of ha i have to half it a little bit to look up so that's probably why it fell off but and looking back he can, he can or i am bending back he can bend quite a bit back too so quite a bit of range there he looks like he's got these pull down ball joints in there but I'm pretty sure it's just a bar barbell that goes back and forth, and it would probably loosen it up and probably ruin it. So, um, oh, you can also swivel obviously on the wrist, but but you can you know you can get the the leg way up, so that's good. And it also has a true thigh swivel and a swivel on the ball joint itself, so you get a full swivel as much as you want. You can go 360 if you want. You can kick way up, pretty good up, you know. You can maneuver it so it looks right. And then, um, sorry. And you can back, we'll do back too. That's what I'm looking for. That's what's confusing me. And then he'll do out to the side. Not full splits, but, you know, pretty good. Oh, I showed you the thigh swivel. You go double jointed knees. So pretty good there. All the way back. Plus, he's got a swivel here, so he can get like, you know, seating poses and other kind of poses. So that's pretty cool. But it won't swivel at the bottom. Like I showed you, the elbows swivel at the top and the bottom and the bicep. He only swivel at the the thigh swivel, the top, and not the boot cut, which is good because I don't like boot cuts. But he goes down, he goes up, and he's got really nice ankle rock. So great there and a toe hinge that's his articulation and as you can see you got him standing on the one toe there plus he's got the bolo in his hand you just swing it around his, his finger here I'll show you just kind of move it like that wraps around his finger and that's and it looks like he's kind of like throwing it back like he's gonna throw it this is him holding the crossbow and as you can see he holds it nicely Let's see if I can do this. So very nicely done there. This is him holding the sledgehammer, which probably has a name, but I can't read Japanese, and I've only watched about uh, seven episodes. If you haven't checked out the show, please do. It's on Cartoon Network now. 
uh, you know, English, and about 12.30 on Saturday nights, and uh, it's about him, and he grows up with his brother, who is his adopted brother, his name Dio Brando, that's basically his rival through at least season one. So, uh, that's basically it, you can switch the hat heads around, this is what that looks like, he's got his bandana head, and... He's got his scarf back on, and as you can see, he's holding his sledgehammer up high, and he's on one toe. So like, comment, subscribe, stay awesome, stay subbed, stay for more videos, stay tuned for more reviews. That's it. That's a wrap. I'm out.